So let's just do this really quick. I want to incentivize you guys. Let's give away three $50, three $50 gift cards to checking out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hey, hope you guys are doing well. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, day in the life video. Nothing super fancy, super structured on this one. Just kind of being real and just kind of uh, hanging out with you guys. My dog is here, he's chilling, he's sleeping. Liz is in the other room, she's riding the bike to get in shape because we can't go to the gym. And uh, so here's what I wanna do on this video. I've got to paint the walls on my truck. I'm gonna go hopefully visit the trailer and try to polish off the black like dew and um, not mold, but like, you know, whatever the black streaks are, I don't even know, off the side of my trailer. Um, and then I wanna just maybe show you guys the podcast studio a little bit. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. Um, but hopefully this video is just some positive, encouraging, upbeat conversation for you guys. I know a lot of you are uh, facing lockdowns, quarantines, um, non-essential services. You wanna talk about unprecedented times. So a lot of you guys have been asking me some questions. I'm gonna weigh in, just give you guys my thoughts about uh, if we're still passing out flyers and marketing and if it's all systems go. So without further ado, let's check it out. Your mom and dad saying something into your ear at nine years old and programming you to think a certain way, to have a certain value system. All right, so we are at the storage yard and uh, I got to get my blower back from uh, Brett's property services, one that he borrowed last fall. And uh, let's see, you should have put it behind here. So there you go, you just drop that off. Um, I don't know how you guys do it, but sometimes you just gotta run around and I hate waiting on people and I hate waiting, uh, making people wait on me. So anyway, uh, let me show you these black streaks that we have uh, on the trailer here. So I don't know if, you, if this will really show up for you guys on the, the camera, but okay, so right here, I'll try to, right there, um, back in the here, it's basically off where all these screws kind of are. Is this making some sense? Can you guys see this stuff? Uh, it's not. It's not like, awful but here's the deal when you when you're about 20 or 30 feet away you can probably see it a little bit better and it just looks a little dingy um there you go you guys can probably see that a little bit better um see these streaks that come off so it's actually pretty no noticeable in in, uh, in person and so i'm going to try to rub those off i got this solution i'll show you guys uh oh so you guys can see all this right here the black it's like a streak uh, a couple more right here i got a big one going down right here so my uh, trailer dealer Kelly and Sons they said that it happens it's uh they got this uh, cleaning chemical I've uh, never used it before so I brought a old nasty towel and hopefully it does the trick uh, let me it's called black streak you guys see this black streak remover so if it works I'll leave Kelly and Sons uh, stuff in the info and you can order a couple of cases or boxes of this stuff or bottles and I think it's like 10 12 bucks I actually ordered one or two for me uh, actually I think I ordered like two and I gave one to Bedell so uh, I gave it to him last fall when it came in so anyway let me organize the truck let's see if we can use the truck as a ladder and try to polish some of this stuff off and then after that we got to go paint the walls let me show you this so the walls are not awful um, but in person again they look a little faded a little dingy you can start to see all the different, uh, uh, just the regular wood that's kind of peeking through. And just, you know, try to tidy this all up. Maybe if I take them all off, I'll uh, paint the insides. A lot of you guys were suggesting that. In fact, should I put double sides up? That's my next question. Um, maybe some removable sides. That'll maybe be a project for this upcoming week uh, before we go into mulch season. See, this side's, this side's getting pretty bad. So let's do that and then uh, see where it goes. All right, so a little product testimony. Here's the spots that we've done, and here's a streak that we haven't. Here's a streak that we haven't. The next one, so check that out. I'm actually pretty impressed. Gosh, I wish it would pull up better on the camera for you guys. There we go. You guys can see, and that is shiny red, this three feet spot, versus not so red. So let's keep it going.
I think it's coming off pretty well. Um, I have to really look when I step back to get the full perspective on it, but even if it takes off half of it, it'll still look so much better than it did last fall, you know? Hey, by the way, if you guys are enjoying today's video, do you wanna smash that thumbs up? Really appreciate it. Uh, just trying to create some fun content for you guys while we're all stuck in quarantine and the COVID crap and coronavirus. So anyway, if you guys are enjoying the video, shoot a big thumbs up, let's keep it going. All right, so let me see if I can get it. This is what it looks like now, and that's with all the clear spots. So I think it did a pretty good job. Um, I mean, like I said, if even if it's half as good as it was in the fall, I'm still really appreciative. So I think it looks way better in real life. Now the scratches, can't really do anything about all that, right? The scratches are, uh, <laughs> that's from the mailboxes. So I don't think we're gonna buff that out. But anyway, I'm gonna leave the black part here. Not really that big of an issue. I'm gonna do a little bit by the door here, up at the top you can see, and uh, let's keep it going. I don't really have like a ladder, so that'll do. All right, so man, these scratches are just tough, but I'm actually gonna be taking the trailer to uh, my guy Damien, uh, exotic, uh, exotic car power wash whatever it is right next to us and um he's like a quarter mile down the road he's gonna do a whole buff out of this whole trailer um probably 200 bucks uh, i mean like a deep clean the guy washes my trailer for 60 bucks about every six weeks so again we did a video not too long ago i'll leave a, a card here or whatever if you want to see the uh, enclosed trailer uh, video that i did for you guys trying to give you some helpful tips about our whole trailer uh setup I guess one tip that I left out of there is that if you get an enclosed trailer, unless you have a power wash or coin wash you can go through, we don't have that here, which kind of stinks. Uh, then you're resorted to, or left with, and I gotta resort to having a, a detail guy uh, knock it out. So I back it up to his uh, uh, st uh, power washing business. Uh, he's got a little strip mall, a little office there. And uh, he does a, like every four to six weeks, he'll do a scrub uh, scrub down for me, just a quick wash, 60 bucks. I'm in and out in an hour and a half. Usually I drop it off before my gym class and I go pick it up when he's closing. And uh, it works out really well. But last time he's like, man, I tried to oxidize, uh, doing the whole thing with my polishing wheel and I uh, the wheel like oxidized or whatever and it turned red and like disintegrated or something he was telling me. And uh, he's like, I'm gonna need like, a good couple hours on it man so anyway i'm gonna drop it off wednesday and then that'll be like the big polish for the season as we get it ready for uh the upcoming season when we start mowing grass and doing cleanups about a week later so anyway let's keep it going all right i'm about to clean up right there <laughs> my dang phone <laughs> come on the back and forth doing the video and the cleaning now i gotta go back the truck up come on dude <laughs> All right, last stop I'll show you guys. Gosh, I wish it wasn't so sunny. But if you guys can see on here, it is so black and so gnarly. Yes, it needs a, car, uh, a power wash, but can you guys see these black streaks on the camera? Wow, it's looking pretty rough, man. All right, so quick little transition here. Uh, I didn't want to just keep showing you guys the same polish scrub uh, part of the video, but here, let me show you guys a little final takeaway. Holy cow, okay, holy cow, it looks so good. Uh, I just put the stuff in my enclosed uh, storage unit, but look at this. It looks so much better. Uh, I wish you guys could see it more in real life. It doesn't even do it justice. Um, actually, I didn't even do the backside. I gotta go knock that out really quick. But uh, look how much better it looks. Oh, I'm so thankful. Sorry about the light. Uh, I, this is just something that my trailer dealer sent to me. I'm not trying to sell it or endorse it or, it, well, I guess I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just saying Black Streak Remover BioClean. If you guys can see um call my trailer dealer if you want a bottle i don't know it's like 15 bucks um like i said i got two i got one for my buddy i always order two anything in life order two all right well let's get back to the house i'm gonna try to paint these walls really quick and uh, maybe as we drive i'll talk to you a little bit more about the coronavirus stuff and uh, see if i can help you guys out with some thought process and all that all right guys so headed back down to my house uh hopefully i still got a little bit of time here i can knock out the painting of the uh, side walls i really just want to button up this kind of stuff before the season starts uh next week i've got to make all my customer uh confirmation phone calls on monday tuesday wednesday uh, we've been focusing on a lot of our commercial stuff here the last uh two weeks and we've got 80 percent of those contracts back which is awesome we actually have 
uh, two new commercial ones as well for lawn care landscaping. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen us plow snow for them, uh, but they obviously you know want to continue on for commercial, which is great for for lawn care landscaping season. Um, just to talk about it for like just two quick minutes. Hey guys, I, I know it's uh, it's tough times right now with people canceling uh, for landscaping work. Uh, a lot of you guys do a lot of big landscaping jobs. I don't do a lot of landscaping, uh, but you guys are getting a lot of pushback. Some people are canceling or holding off on jobs. You know, that's kind of expected, you know? A lot of people are just uncertain. Well, I don't think the world's gonna end. I don't think it's anything that dramatic, but I do get it. People are uh, nervous, they're anxious, they don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, one camp thinks it's gonna be martial law, and the other camp says, hey, in two months we're gonna be back out there. Uh, once summer time hits, kind of nicks this things in the butt, and uh, we're back to business as usual. So here's what I will tell you. 99% chance everything rebounds, and then in just two short months, we're all back out there going 100 miles an hour. Here's what you need to be doing. Uh, keep marketing, keep advertising, and keep the hammer down. Stay positive, stay focused, um, keep some cash on hand to keep the business moving. Uh, maybe offer payment programs to people, maybe offer different payment options to finance or to break up jobs. You know, people will still spend money and people still get their lawn cut, so it's not the end of the world. So with just regards to passing out flyers a little bit, just keep it more timely here in the next two weeks. Um, yeah, we're still passing out flyers. Uh, we're still gonna be uh, doing the whole deal. I'm not trying to be insensitive, you know, but we run a business, guys. Like, let's be honest, I'm still buying Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm still doing Chipotle carryout, takeout. Um, yeah, we're trying to social distance and do the whole deal, but I'm not even gonna get started on that whole, whole topic. If people want to um, bid or estimate or get pricing on thing, things, um, just be cognizant, just be sensitive, you know, make, make phone calls, do uh, estimates over the phone, uh, do estimates on the property. They don't have to come out and see you. Um, use technology, man. FaceTime some folks, uh, you know, just tell them that you're available to talk, video chat, if, if anything. You know, and here's the biggest takeaway is that unprecedented times make us all evolve. They make us all get better and they make us utilize things and grow and change and so I know I don't ever look at like glass half full I'm a glass half or glass half empty I'm a glass half full kind of guy so I love to hear what you guys are doing to incorporate different measures in your business to keep things moving are you guys leaving cash on hand um, don't quote me but I'm 99% sure that I saw this that uh, the tax uh, 2019 tax um, tax day is moved to July 15th instead of April 15th so let's say you owe five, 10, 20 grand on your taxes. Hey, you know, file that if you got it. Um, but if you want to keep 10, 15, 20 grand in reserves uh, on hand, I might do that. Um, I might wait till July 15th to uh, file my taxes and do the whole deal. So anyway, um, these are just some tips that I'm uh, noticing. We're still passing out flyers, you know. Here's the reality. We're gonna lose 10 or 20% of our business next week. I already know it, I just feel it. Um, and I'm not being negative, I'm just being real. Uh, people are home, some people wanna cut their lawn, some people uh, you know, might lose their jobs and they just wanna cut back. Uh, no right or wrong answer, but for me, I know that I gotta market. I know that I gotta pass out flyers, no matter what, uh, every year, you know, you might lose five or ten percent of your business anyway. So if you can pass out flyers and just keep pushing the the ball forward, pushing the needle forward, that's that's what we're doing. I told my wife, "Hey, gear up next week. We're passing out flyers." Um, but you know, just just be smart while you're out there. All right. Hopefully those tips help. Let me know what you guys are doing to kind of uh, curb uh, against this uh, this coronavirus thing. But man, do you want to talk about unprecedented times we're living in? Um, I don't know. I've never, if it was a financial collapse, hey, we could all have a little bit different conversation, but I don't think anybody's ever imagined that we'd be on a, uh, a national two week quarantine, right? So, anyway, um, we'll keep it going. All right. So, back at home and check it out. So, here's the two guys that we're going to repaint. Uh, these are the bottoms, as you guys can see, top side. So, we'll paint those two. Um, you know, I was going to paint it by leaving it on the truck, but I didn't want to be lazy. So that's the dump insert uh, without the sides, as you guys can see. So um, let me show you this too. A lot of you guys were asking about these hooks that I had uh, here. I had these hooks uh, buried in to the uh, wall on the inside. And these were just designed to where I uh, stored my snow blower so let me show you guys so i just ripped them out really quick i had one hole right there and the other one right there um, but they're not serving a purpose anymore you guys remember like right here they were uh just pegged in there so i don't need those hooks anymore 
I got my black paint. This is Liz's vanity, another project, honeydew list, right guys? Uh, black paint, so we're gonna use that. Got just a little cheap roller, cheap little tray. I always love keeping this stuff around. Oh hey, by the way, uh, I got a new measuring wheel in, which is pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys have seen this one on Amazon. Uh, really, really cool setup. Uh, it's like 60 bucks, but this one I like because it has the brake uh, on the handle and the automatic reset and not just, uh, you know, trying to tap it with your foot, which kind of gets annoying. So Amazon Prime is like 60 bucks. We'll use it. Uh, I know a lot of guys that have these and they love them. So I'll give you guys a, a more thorough update at another time, but let's do this. Let's go put some paint on here, clean it up. And then here's what I really want to show you guys. Dude, this is like, we're in like that seasonal transition. All these things have to go back to storage uh, for the season. This is the sneak peek at my illustrious little studio, right? So I'll get more, we'll get more on this one here in a second and uh, show you guys what's up, so. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, some thick paint boys all right we're not going to be super special here super fancy we're just going to make this as fast as we can i don't want to be out here all day it's kind of cold actually so all right paint time my dad was a painter man i know all about paint let's do this thing oh yeah way better wow look how weathered that is a little wet, but things up looking really really good so just a, it's a little simple stuff man it takes a couple hours but in the busy season man like it's tough to do it all so anyway what do you guys think let me know and uh we'll let these dry for about 20 30 minutes and we'll uh put them back up there and that'll be another little uh checklist item that we don't throw about for upcoming spring all right so let's do this uh we're gonna wrap up with a little giveaway here, and then let me just talk to you guys about the podcast studio. A lot of you guys have been asking to see this. Hey, I w I'm not here to brag. I'm not trying to like show off. There's nothing here to brag about or show off about, but some of you guys are just inquisitive, kind of like me, and you want to see what the studio looks like. So let me show you guys. Check this out. In one button, one switch, everything comes to life, right? So let's do this. So I built these sound panels. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and so I got this black drape. That just kind of keeps sound in. I built all this stuff and it's a lot of money. It just never ends, right? So you guys can see, here, here's what you guys see, right? You guys see like, let me do this. You guys see like this. Here's what you guys see. You get to see like this. But what I get to see, by the way, nobody ever shows this stuff off, right? You, you know, I'm not super fancy, but let's do this. So here's what I see, right? I've got cameras, the whole deal. I know you guys are like, this is a little excessive. I know, I'm trying to do YouTube and like make a podcast. I don't, like like I said, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I take all the money that we make from YouTube, which is not much, and I put it right back into the channel. I put it into you guys. I, I put it into the microphones and the whole deal. Uh, so let me show you guys around. We got all these different light panels. These are not cheap. So this kind of shines down, but it shines this way. Uh, we've got all this kind of stuff in here. We've got the Craftsman. Uh, let me see. The craftsman sent us some more. Uh, all these tool chests, and then I got all the different other booms in here for two more sets. So we can get four people uh, live on the podcast. All right. So uh, I got the TV. So anytime I can put anything on the background, 
the rolling tool chest. And by the way, all this stuff is also practical and functional. I, I tinker up here all the time. Um, but here's the deal. Let me give you guys the last kind of thing. So it's always, it's in my garage. So as you guys can imagine, it's like 10 degrees out, right? So what we do is anytime I'm about to do a podcast, so what I do is anytime I'm about to do a podcast, I fire up the torpedo salamander heater for about five or six minutes. It warms up like this whole chamber, if you will. And we also run the, the space heater. And uh, a lot of time, uh, I'm just chilling in here with a blanket. So we record on the podcast board, which is pretty cool. I don't know, let me know. Thumbs up if you guys appreciate this stuff. Nobody ever shows behind the scenes of their studios or their cool setup. If you guys wanna mimic and do the same thing, um, let me know and I can always leave links for everything in the description. I don't care, I'm just, just kinda showing it off. Apparently I have a water, <laughs> water that's been in here for two days uncapped, we'll drink that later. Um, and so this right here is the go, uh, Rode video mic. No, this is not the Rode video mic. This is the Rode, uh, Rodecaster. Broadcaster Pro. Um, hit up your boy Paul Jameson if you guys want to know how to podcast. And uh, so we have the different microphones and boom, boom, boom. So sometimes we can do like in guest studios. I did one with um, Mark Parker. My wife is on a couple of them. Um, Nathan Fox. So we got some great podcasts coming down the, uh, the, the, the aisle, which is going to be really cool. Um, and that's kind of where I want to maybe just wrap this up really quick because it is Sunday. Um, we're doing family day here and uh, the wife and I, uh, we're going to go to my mom's uh, with my brother and his sister-in-law. We're going to go play Cheetos Edition of Monopoly and eat some roast. Okay, so uh, we don't exactly practice social distancing. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I wanted to say thank you to you guys who have been supporting the podcast, checking it out. We dropped episode 18 and episode 19. One was surviving entrepreneurship during the coronavirus. The other one was episode 19, my good debt story. How I, I got out of debt, but I used debt to grow my life. A lot of you guys are saying 18 and 19 are incredible. And I put a lot of thought into this. If you have not checked out the podcast, you've got to check it out. It is me unfiltered, not how we do it on YouTube, okay? Because if I say certain things on YouTube, Half you don't care and YouTube cares and we can get in trouble and you know the channel will get bad things happen, okay? I'm not gonna even go into it right now, but I love uh, just hanging out with you guys and talking to you guys and sharing thought process and business mindset and some different skills and it's really, really cool. So here's the deal. For all of you guys that uh, have uh, rated the podcast, rated and reviewed, I really, really appreciate it. Um, the the five stars reviews uh, or ratings and the little reviews, they help out the channel a lot or the, the podcast a lot. So let's just do this really quick. I want to incentivize you guys. Let's give away three $50, three $50 gift cards to checking out the, the podcast and leave, uh, leaving me a nice little rating and review. I'm not here to buy five star reviews, nothing like that. I'm just here to incentivize you guys. If you like the podcast, leave me a, a rating. Uh, if you wanna leave five stars, awesome. I super appreciate that. And leave like a two or three sentence review. Um, it really, really helps. And I know, like myself included, and unless I'm like motivated or incentivized to do something, eh, I'm, not gonna I'm not gonna do it. But here's the deal. Three different people can win $50 gift cards in the next week, and that's what I wanna just incentivize you guys to leave a rating if you guys can. So. Here's the deal, in the comment section down below, leave me some comments on this video, let me know if you guys enjoyed it, um, whether it's the, the boards on the truck or that black streak remover on the trailer, just, you know, I love engaging with you guys. But number two, if you wanna leave a comment saying, hey, I left a rating and review, the name I left it under was, you know, S. Bird, Spencer Bird, right? I know my boy Spencer out there, uh, S. Bird, he's always leaving his, uh, his comments and all that mess. Uh, so I can line up your comment on the podcast rating, okay? So, uh, by the way, I think you can only, uh, only leave ratings on iTunes, so any of you guys that are Droid folks, I apologize. Um, if you wanna say you left a rating down in the comments, maybe just do that. Um, I can't exactly fact check the Google people, so honesty is the best policy. We'll just do the honorary system here. But for all of you guys that leave ratings and reviews uh, on iTunes and you can match up your the screen name that you put it down there, uh, just let me know in the comments. Say, hey, uh, your, your YouTube comment name might be S Bird. Hey, if you leave a comment on the podcast saying S Bird as well, that way I can fact check them. I'll pick three different people uh, from the iTunes rating and review system and then I'll bring them back to the comments here on YouTube and you know DM you on YouTube and do the whole deal. That's how I'll get a hold of you guys, all right? So be attentive to the comments. We'll pick a winner here in a week. Um, and it's just a way to give back. I'm not here to 
like I said, buy five star ratings or anything like that. That's not the point. Uh, the, the goal is to just get some engagement because it really helps the podcast get surfaced when people are subscribed and they leave ratings and reviews. And man, I wish it was a, a different way, but it doesn't matter how good you are in 2020 or your content. If there's no like stats and engagement to boost it, um, it's not going to get surfaced and it kind of stinks, but it is what it is. So, uh, but you know what? To be totally honest with you guys, so many of you have been leaving ratings um, and reviews or organically, which I so super appreciate that more than you guys know. And uh, it really has helped the podcast get service. We're trending in like the top 30 entrepreneurship podcasts in all of North America, which is insane. We've been up there for like about two or three weeks and uh, in the top 150 to top 200 for all business. So you know what? It's a green industry podcast. If you guys want to learn about uh, lawns, lessons and life, do me a big favor. Leave me a rating. If you don't want to participate, no big deal. But um, I like to see the 225 or so ratings we have get to about 500 to 1,000. And I think that would really, really help give some social proof to the podcast. So that's it, guys. Um, if, the, if you guys are checking out this video this far, just know that um, today's episode was Caleb Allman, a two and a half hour episode with Caleb Allman. We're going to be talking about LLCs and DBAs with uh, Garrett Sutton by the end of this week. Um, I just talked about my good debt story. Uh, we got Keith Kalfas coming the first week of April. Uh, so many more good people. Like I'm telling you, it's going to be good. So if you guys want to listen to something while you're mowing, well, hopefully we can go mow in the next two, three weeks or two months, right? Because who knows where we're going to be with this quarantine. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, you already know the deal. Um, appreciate you guys more than you know. This is my little humble garage, my little humble studio. I'm sure it'll continue to grow. But again, I just love reinvesting into you guys. And um, thank you so much to all of you guys that have used codes, watched the videos, and allowed us to make some revenue on YouTube. And then I can just pour it right back into the studio. The studio is about five grand. So any which way. Um, appreciate the sponsors of the episodes. Appreciate you guys watching and listening to the episodes and uh, the whole deal. All right, over and out. Have a good day. We'll catch up with you guys on the next video. Have a good week. And this is why doing YouTube is never free. Because <laughs> who knows if that would have tumbled.